what we're going to be doing here is using anti-differentiation to get the equation, but also to get that constant at the end. So like, like we did yesterday, if you're not given a point on the curve, then you're always going to have a plus c at the end of the equation when you differentiate it. So today we're going to be finding out what that, what that num constant is. Okay? So first example. So let's look at this first example. And um, what I have right here is the gradient function. And what I have right here, even though it doesn't say it, is a point on the curve. So I'll just write that down. Okay? So we know f dash x is a gradient function, and this uh, f4, 7, that's a point on the curve. So my x coordinate would be 4, my, and my y coordinate would be 7, even though it doesn't tell me that. So our first step is we're going to anti-differentiate this one. That means we're going to find uh, f of x. And we do that like we did the other day. Add 1 to the exponent and divide by that new exponent. So that's 2x2 over 2 uh, plus, remember, 3 anti-differentiates to 3x. And it's, it's plus some constant. That will work out in a bit. Um, and I'm going to simplify this because 2 over 2 cancels out. So the original function is just x squared plus 3x plus c. Okay, so that's our, uh, that's our first step, is to anti-differentiate it. If we can't do that, we can't do any of these. Our second step is to substitute these points in for, um, for x and y in order to solve for c. Okay, now, the only tricky thing about this one is that the f of x is the same as y. All right, those, so when, when you see that f of x right there, that's, it's going to be 7 and x is just going to be 4. So when we substitute, we're substituting it into the original equation, and we're saying 7 equals 4 squared plus 3 times 4 plus c. Okay? And I just took, took this equation and used 7 for f of x and 4 for x. And we can solve this. Actually, we could probably solve this on the graphics, but since they're all nice whole numbers, it's not, it's not too bad. I get uh, 16 plus... 12 plus, hold up, is that right? Yep, uh, plus C. And so I get uh, 28 plus C. And so C is going to give me, okay, so I get a negative 21 for my constant, and now I can write my equation. And the only thing I do there is substitute that negative 21 in for C. And if it's negative 21, don't go plus negative 21. Just put the minus 21. Okay? So the only thing difference is we substitute these points in, get that C value, and throw it on back to the original equation right there. So let's look at this example. A curve passes through this point. That's xy. And dy by dx is 4x plus 3. That's the gradient function. And I want to find the original function. So I go through the same steps. Uh, these guys right here, differentiate, substitute, write the equation, and I should be good to go. Anti-differentiate, not differentiate. So let's do that first. I'll differentiate this. This is a pretty easy 4x squared over 2 plus 3x plus that constant. And I'll simplify that as 2x squared plus 3x plus c. Uh, substitute these guys in for x and y. This doesn't use f of x, so we've got negative 2 is y. So we've got negative 2 equals 2, what is x? 3 squared plus 3 times 3 plus that c. Okay? And so the rest I can simplify like this. Okay, when I get to this step, uh, it looks like I can get my uh, constant by subtracting uh, 27 from the other side, and I get negative 29. Okay. And now I can rewrite the equation. And don't forget, when I do rewrite the equation, I don't use the uh, gradient function. I use this one right here. And so I just say um, y equals 2x squared plus 3x, and it's negative again, minus... 29.
Okay. Okay, so let's try this example. And go ahead and pause it and see if you can do it on your own. Okay. Okay, there's, there's my first step after I anti-differentiate it. And then I'll simplify it. Then I'll substitute these guys. Remember, these are x and that's y. Put those in. G of x is negative 2. And so my constant of integration, add 51 to the other side. I should get 49. Okay. And now I rewrite uh, my equation. Don't forget, this, this is the original equation right here. Okay, so we, we, yeah, we substitute that 49 in for C, and that's fine. You'll get full marks for that, but usually we write polynomials or equations in descending order of X. So we might want to write it with the X cubed term first, and say, even though it's negative, uh, negative 2X cubed plus X plus 49. And that just looks a little bit, a little bit cleaner, and that'll be okay as well. Either of those are acceptable. Okay?